Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a little review on some of the paper that I actually got as a sample from Jackson's Art Supplies a while ago, if you guys had seen that haul video. And this is actually Canson's La Corel watercolor paper. It is hot pressed and it is 300 grams. So I decided I'm going to quickly do the review first and then I will talk about the actual painting second. So. Uh, this paper was a sample, like I said, from Jackson's Art Supplies. It only cost about 50 cents per one of these A5 sheets. And I wanted hot press in particular because I don't like the textures on cold press. And I had really high hopes for this one because the other one that I had from the Saunders Waterford was amazing. And that was for my Abracadabra 52-week uh, illustration challenge piece, if you'd like to see that review. This one, on the other hand, was complete disaster. Well, not complete disaster, but not at all what I expected. First, when I put down water, it completely buckled, but that's to be expected with any watercolor paper. But then it also absorbed water through to the back, which is very unusual for a 300 grams watercolor paper. So that instantly for me sent up a red flag. It took a long time for it to dry. And there on the upper left hand corner, uh, I will try and zoom in here. You can see that it kind of bleeds a lot and you can see that the water is still there. But that wasn't the only problem that I had with this paper. Later on down the line, you will see when I start to do Lucy's skin color on her right arm there towards the front, it bleeds badly. Thankfully, I could cover it with the color of her hair, but you know, if I didn't have that possibility, it would have been really bad for the piece because it also didn't lift very well because the paper is so absorbent. So I'm not really sure if I will ever go back to using this type of paper ever again. I'm actually I'm pretty sure I won't. I would rather order the Saunders, which was amazing. So as you can see there in the corner, I'll zoom in again. You can see the bleeding there on the arm, which I was not at all happy with. And off camera, I tried to go back and fix it and it didn't work. So overall, I'm not very impressed with this watercolor paper and I don't recommend it unless you are okay with bleeding and doing very loose works. So because this is a children's illustration, now moving on to the piece itself, I wanted it to be a little bit more detailed and crisp because that's just the way I like my pieces to be and I couldn't achieve that with this paper, which is a big letdown. And also just because of the fact that when I was doing this piece, I couldn't get Priscilla to look the way that she used to look. I have to go back and practice with her again. Uh, I, the size was wrong and the face was wrong, everything about her was wrong. So with this piece, it just wasn't turning out well. Even Lucy didn't look quite like Lucy. I mean, overall, sure, it's fine. But the piece just because of the bleeding, I think it kind of threw me off. And so then I just kind of lost faith in the paper and that the piece is going to turn out okay. <laughs> you can see my cat boogie. So I just kind of left it and, you know, didn't really put as much effort in as I would have liked to for a Lucy piece. But I knew that this piece wasn't going to go in the eventual story anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. But again, this was supposed to be one of the, the blocks in the story where she's just wandering through the woods with Priscilla and she's kind of realizing that it's okay, things aren't so bad and Priscilla's there to guide her. So that was the idea behind this little piece here and now as we're getting towards the end of it and I'm starting to hardline, I, I'm basically able to hide a lot of the blemishes that was caused by the watercolor paper, but initially I didn't want to do that. I wanted to leave it kind of like sketchy, like the one draw with me piece that I did. I was hoping to achieve that effect, but I couldn't with this watercolor paper for whatever reason. It just doesn't work with me. So overall, I'm not going to go for this paper ever again, but you know, the piece still turned out okay. I hope you guys have liked it too, and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of the weekend. So please throw down any comments, likes down below. I really appreciate it. And also please subscribe if you haven't already. So have a wonderful rest of the weekend, guys, and I hope to see you back here on my channel next week. All right, guys. Bye!